three, two, one. Hey, what's going on? It's hey. Ralph. I'm not. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? We're back again. It's Faith Duo. And we wanted to talk about stereotypes today. Mm -hmm. uh, stereotype Christians. Right? What people always stereotype about Christians. Yeah, so we're going to go over a few things. And hopefully this will be informative or help you realize some things about yourself or about others. And hopefully help you to help them as well. All right, first we're going to talk about Christians are closed-minded. That's not true. <laughs> so, I would think that, you know, people think that Christians are closed-minded because they don't want to branch out and do different things, or um, they think their way is the only right way, right? And for some Christians, that could be true, but you can't put everybody in the same group. But um, right. for us, yeah, the us. type of Christians that we are, we actually like to know about everything. We yeah. like to know what's out there because we always want to like know what we're studying and what we're, you know, trying to follow is the true. Is the right way? Is yeah. the, the true way? We want to, you know, continue learning because if we if we're not learning, uh, then we're you know dying basically. So we have to continue to learn and know what people are talking about and be open to looking into certain things. Definitely. And the kids are up this video, so. Yeah, we're trying to keep them quiet. And the next thing is Christians don't like to have fun. True or false? Uh, I would say that's false. And in fact, that is insulted to me because I'm a very fun person. <laughs> You're an avid funner. <laughs> said we don't like to have fun. Hmm? So I think people think that Christians don't like to have fun because there's certain things that we won't do, right? So yes, there's certain guidelines because we follow the Bible, or supposed to be, so we're gonna not do certain things that the Bible talks against or uh, is not gonna represent how it represents Christ. Right, So, but those aren't the only things in life. Listen, the Bible is not all about what you can't do. It's what you get by being a Christian and following God's word. That's what living the Christian life is about. And I have fun all the time. Oh. We, we like to do things. We like to, I like to go to the Braves game. I like to- I like to go to water parks. Beach. I like to go on hikes. I'm pretty much down. If you want to know if I'm a fun person or not, come hang out with me and I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing we want to talk about is Christians are hypocrites. Yes, and a lot of people say they don't want to become a Christian because Christians are hypocrites. So, how you feel about that? I feel that you know there are, of course, some of everything, right? So there are some Christians that are hypocrites. The whole thing about being a Christian is, you know, you're supposed to be true to who you are and. You're supposed to be the same person in and out of church. Right. And so... So just be consistent. That's what we Christians should be. And sometimes we're not. And we're not perfect. And we're, we're all sinful. I think the biggest but, thing is you need to be able to admit to anybody that you're like as sinful as anybody else. It's not... You don't want to project yourself as something that you're not. But we don't all have it all together. And so that's what we're doing. We're trying to strive to be better. And so right. that's what being a Christian is all about, is striving to do better, be better, and be like Christ. The last thing we're gonna talk about is the fact that uh, a lot of people stereotype Christians and think that they're all judgmental. So how does that make you feel? And once again, I think there's some in every category. I don't just go around uh, trying to point out people's sins and I don't just go around thinking about other people's sins. I'll go around thinking about my sins. I'm trying to be the best example I can be. As Christians, we're not trying to 
we shouldn't be trying to point out other people's sins because we even have a, a parable about uh, the plank in the guy's eye, right? That's true. There's scriptures about not being judgmental because who are we to judge? Like, that's that's for the Bible and for God and for Jesus to decide. All, right. all have fallen short of the glory of God. So right. we're all just trying to make it. So to conclude the whole subject, you know, if you're a Christian and you think you, you know, qualify or you're in any of these stereotypes as a Christian, it's important that we're always self-examining. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5, examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not know yourselves that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you are disqualified. So basically you need to be self-examining yourself to make sure that you're not falling short. Yeah. Right. Or making like you're supposed to be different for Christians and you're not supposed to like, I don't know, you represent, we're supposed to be a group and you represent yeah. all of us. Right. And so if you're not a Christian, try not to, I guess, be so hard on Christians because like we're not all, we don't all have it together. You shouldn't think that every Christian is the worst Christian. So just try not to lump us all in the same category um, because there's some Christians that are, you know, working on their certain things at certain times and you just may have caught them in a bad moment. Uh, but we should all be trying to love one another. John 15, 17 tells us that we should love one another. And if we can do that better, then it'll be a much happier place. So go out there and be better. And don't be judgmental. Don't be closed-minded. Don't be don't hypocritical. Be. Don't be. Don't be. Don't be. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so love one another. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. All right, be the light. Peace. <laughs>